<laughs> okay. Hi, welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, hello, I'm Quizm. And I'm Mix. And we're playing three random horror games today. It's probably more than three, actually. It's more like an hour's worth of random horror games. Okay, then I guess we're playing an hour's worth of random horror games today. Let's go. This is the Crypt Terror. It is currently number three on Ichio, and it's the 3rd of May, 1336. Three weeks ago, a curse was bestowed upon the town of Sherdorn. Livestock killed, crops des desiccated, madness grew. Shrieks and chants were heard from the town's forgotten catacomb. Many believed that to be the source of the town's curse. Lord Raleigh commended the town's clergy to go down and rid them of this evil. One by one, they entered the depths of darkness, yet none returned. The corruption only grew, and now, by the Lord's order, it is your turn to venture down. Well, I'm inclined to tell him to fuck off. I don't know about you, baby. Yeah, that's a bit rude. Farewell. Oh, I guess I'm about to be lowered down. You know, I'm just saying. Oh. May you rid us of this evil. I don't even know who's talking to me. It's the horde co talking collectively as a hive. Oh, it's these ones here. Oh yeah, they're people. I thought they were trees. <laughs> In my defense, they're very tree-like people. So. I mean, I was gonna say that uh, maybe you should bring more of us down here, but I guess we are two people. We are. Oh my god. Yeah. We come as a couple, but we're not kidding. Yeah. We're just stuck in one body. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Some people call that a mental illness. <laughs> I'm Quizm. No, you're not Quizm. I'm, I'm Quizm. No, you're Minx. I'm Quizm. No. Yes. You're going to confuse people. Good. That's not good. Listen. We're going down the well well. It's not a well, is it? It's a catacomb. Yes. All right. So... So far, I'll say, by the way, no, no head bob, nothing like that. Very nice. Yes. And we're going to always go right, because that's what you always do when you're in a catacomb. Is it? No. <laughs> I just made that up. But I thought it was, you know, worth a shot. So. I have no idea what we're expected to be doing down here. We're going to stop the evil. Do we just be like... You hear the whisper? The and whispering whisper? What is this? Um. Is it a medieval bad dragon? What? Moving on. <laughs> I don't. I'm scared. Oh. Well, this room appears to be a dead end. How rude. That's where we came in. I'll just check all the walls, but I've got a feeling this is just a dead end. Oh no, there's a papilla barking. Oh no. Which means that our papilla may bark too at some point. I mean, hopefully not. Okay. Oh no. Left control is crouch. Oh no, I hear the papilla grumbling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's not feeling too well at the moment, so she might hopefully just chill a bit. Doors. Well, this is just rude. This is obviously a fake wall. Look at it. There's mans in it. See the mans? I don't know if that makes it a fake wall. It makes it a fake wall. <laughs> if I was a mans, I wouldn't live in a wall, would you? I don't know. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. You'll never know? You'll never know. This Opening like, these is a bit weird, by the way. looks like it might be a jammy room. It is! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, hi. Um. We'll go this way instead. But aren't we supposed to stop it? Well, it's cl we've closed the door. That's pretty much the same thing. But the door was already closed. We closed it again. So uh, we're good. 
it, didn't you? Look, the mayor didn't specify how we stopped them, as long as we stopped them. And closing the door is pretty solid. Where's this dripping from? Um, the ceiling? I can't see the ceiling. Well, there must be some jam up there. Or a jam monger. A jam monger, plying his trade. Yes. I still don't know how these doors open. If I ever have to open a door in a hurry in this, I'm so dead. <laughs> the wise old jam monger, sitting on the roof, peddling his raspberry jam. Strawberry. No, this one's raspberry. I don't like raspberry. I don't like here. You know why I say I don't care? Why? Because do we really want to eat this man's jam? Hmm... How do I get back here? I went in a big loop. Baba, this is not allowed. I mean, it is. It's just not numb. You know, it's because I went left. I broke the rule, and now everything is ruined. Well, I guess you'll die. I mean, I can just come back here and go right instead, actually. Like this way. Hello! Anyone here? I don't think there's anyone here. Which in the grand scheme of things is very normal. This I mean, is the end. I guess so, but at the same time, don't like it. Why don't you like it? Because it's spooky down here. And it's lonely. So I kind of would like someone down here, but not someone bomb. Not, how about the jam mugger? Would he be okay? I don't know, because some jam mongers can be a bit mean. What, 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 are they just judge judgmental about your taste in jams? Yeah, and then they want to turn you into jam and it becomes very awkward. That is awkward. I hate it when people want to turn me into jam. Yeah. I feel like going down here was probably a bad idea, like legitimately. Especially as it appears to be the Eye of Sauron in front of us. Well, you know. And there was a... Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> okay. may be it. Oh. What are your thoughts on the crypt, Tara? Um, short and creepy. I actually quite like, like, medieval themed horror stuff. I don't think we get enough of it. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's a, a, an avenue that is rarely explored. And when it is, it can be done quite effectively. Hmm. Do we know if this was made for, like, a Jane Gam? Uh, Jam 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 Jam. Wow, I'm having a stroke. I'm sorry. Uh, brain, cooperate with me. Game Jam, or if it was like his first game. We'll have a look. Hang on. I feel like we should know this beforehand. Well, it's number three on Ichio. This is my first ever horror game. Oh. It should take you around five to ten minutes, which it did take about eight minutes. There you go. Okay. This was pretty good for a first good attempt, job. actually. Like, uh, it, I, I've seen very much worse first attempts. This yeah. was a stylistically distinct for first attempts, I'd say. Yeah, it was overall very, very numb. Yes. Anyway. All right, we're going to move on to another game, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Chrisman here to say thank you to one of our Patreon supporters. Who's it going to be? Do you know who it's going to be, Bubby? No, I don't. Why well, don't you tell me? It's going to be Daniel Barrett. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. That is unprecedented. Thank you so much for the support. We really do appreciate you. Thank you very much, you adorable numpkin. Yes. Oh, my God. Bubby, say, oh, my God. I, 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 oh, my God. <laughs> okay. You know who else we need to say oh, my God for? Okay, who? Alice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Our producer, Alice. Thank you so much, Alice, for being a numpkin. Thank you very much, yes, Alice. Alice is links on screen right now. Go support. Go be numb. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh my god. Oh my Oh no. Oh, he's a hungry lamu, baby. Oh no, he's so hungry. He's so hungry. He just can't stop numbing everything. So I'd like to... Oh, you know, you missed it. What? Don't worry about it. What? <laughs> Shall I be in the narrator? Hello, lamu. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. Okay. 
Oh, this is cute. Baby, how is this a horror game? Um, you'll see in a minute. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Eat three cherries. Baba Nomkin, this is Nom. <laughs> they did not look like cherries to me, by yeah, the way. those don't look like cherries. Where's that tree moving? There aren't any cherries beyond this point. Okay, I went too far one way. Oh, okay, I see. You can't go that way. Go, go this way. I am Lamu. I am cute. I eat cherries all day long. Do you like my bell? It's a very cute bell. Oh my god, he's some more. Um, um, um. Nom, nom, nom. By the way, mm -hmm. this is not how trees work. That's perspective. That's in the foreground, so we should be able to walk behind it. Oh, <laughs> it's doing that then. <laughs> Yum. Weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Well, if it isn't a cute little banana. Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Let's go meet this banana, Lamu. Eat the banana. Well, I mean, bananas aren't usually sentient, right? So that's fine. I mean, they're usually not, but... <laughs> Hello, little banana. Can you be the banana? Grr. Bark, bark. Oh dear, looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. Bark, bark, bark. Well, need to make we'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. Need something hard. <laughs> what a hearty meal! I'm sure the banana didn't mind. Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that, Lamu? It's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. Their fruits should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. <coughs> Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. No. Do you think they'll let us eat them, baby? I think they will. I think, I think they're afraid. No, they want to play hide and seek, obviously. <laughs> Looks like they want to play the game, see? <laughs> Just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past. How fun! Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new friends so we can have some of that delicious fruits. You know... Yes? If you eat all of your friends, you can't have friends anymore. It's like that saying, like, let them eat cake. You can't eat the cake if you want to have possession of the cake. And you can't have friends if you eat them. So you but, shouldn't eat your friends. But these ones aren't our friends. But the narrator said they're fruit friends. The narrator is lying. We need something, we need something sharp and something that stings. How about this one? This one doesn't seem to let us do anything, unless that's a flower behind there. But it looks like hands. It does look like hands, but I don't think... Something stingy here. Okay. How is it not stinging you? Oh, we're, we're Lamo. We're, 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 the bees are our friends. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, the bee stung... Oh, so you're the, you're the apple, sorry. Oh, it's the bee stung me everywhere. <gasps> Looks like I've got to be careful next time. <laughs> Have my apple. You deserve it. That doesn't make sense. <sighs> Oh, no. We ate the apple. They did say that we could have it. They were very nice. I mean, they were... Kind of strangely nice, really, if I'm honest with you. I think you need the fire. Yeah, oh, you need, need the, the fire, fire for that. But there's and there's something the sharp thing. for the other one, yes? Yes. Where was that one? They were in a tree or something. They were in a tree. How dare they? It, whatever tree. Oh, that tree has eyes. That's the one. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Whoa, that was a high fall. Uh -huh. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? Uh -huh. Have mine. Maybe next time you'll be able to try and climb a tree, too. Uh -huh. Oh, no. 
Did you see its head teleport back into existence for a split yeah. second afterwards? It was pretty disturbing. Yeah, I saw that. Well, we know where the burning one is, so let's go over here and set fire to it. We'll cook this one in advance. That's what we're doing. Okay. This one here, yes. Oh. That's hot, hot, hot! Mm. Oh, gee, couldn't you try something less burning? Mm. Well, I hope you like burnt pear because it's all yours. I like delicious cooked pears, thank you. <sighs> yum, yum, yum! Weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry. <laughs> oh, hang on, what the fuck? Is this first person now? Yeah. What the hell? Sounded like Tasha. Ugh, I told them not to make so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Find the campsite. Oh no. This is not a good thing. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna need to run. Well, here's the campsite. Are we a fruit person? No, we're normal human. Oh, well that's a little bit strange. I found the campsite. There's nothing here. You need to eat. Where did they all go? Where's Moki? Moki, where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. Find Moki. Um, Yes. you might want to turn around. It's almost as if you've seen this before or something. It's, it is. Um, you know the banana? Yes. You need to go to where the banana was. I can't remember where that was, but I think it was up here-ish. Apparently this is wrong. Moki was an adorable little banana, right? A banana papilla? Yes? Um... Moki... Maybe less banana. Oh no. Oh no! They weren't fruit at all! No, they weren't. Moki! What the fuck? Who did this? Poor girl. Whichever of you assholes did this, this is fucked up! Tasha, Ken, Leon, oh god, where the hell are you guys? <laughs> oh no. They were kind of this way, right? Okay. Two of them. Okay, apparently, no, that's not true. Oh, Moki. I'm really sad now. Yeah. Moki was like my favorite one. Do I just hear footsteps? Because, oh yeah, um, you might want to be careful. Because, you know how Lamu was still hungry? Yeah. Well, Lamu was still hungry. I'm going to be sick. Why are there so many damn bees? Who did this to you, Ken? I hear noises. Yeah. Go to find the other two. One was this way, with the bush. <laughs> what? Nothing. Why is it looping? Oh no, this is the burning bush. Yeah, that's the burning bush. Fuck. <coughs> oh, holy shit. I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to crisps. What the hell is going on? Burnt to a crisp, not burnt to crisps. <laughs> he turned into potato crisps. What was that? Was Lamu? That yeah. Was... Yep. I see him. Yep. 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 There was like he was teleporting. No. Maybe. He just wants to eat you because you're a fruit friend. Maybe. I mean, he thinks I'm a fruit friend, clearly. Yeah. And what Lamu thinks is law. That's how it works. Oh god, this is actually terrifying. Here we go.
Oh. Oh god, Tasha. She must have twisted her leg in the tree. What the hell did this t what the hell did this to her? I have to get out of here. I need to get to the car. Where the fuck is the car? Um, on the other side of the map, I think. Like, back the way I came? I don't remember. Well, there's Lamu. Yeah, there's Lamu. So, maybe don't go towards... De oh, no. They do teleport. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's probably this way. Oh, no. Puppy. Just say a no, no, it doesn't save me from Lamu. Listen, I'm nervous. I'm cold. Are you a numki? Well, I was going to say an unjust plain scared, but then I realized I did say I'm nervous, so that's kind of a redundant statement. Just plain numb? I mean... I could be a no kin. I wouldn't say I'm numb right now. Oh god! He teleported like right by me. Go get into the car. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yes. We did it. We Am I controlling this? No. And nothing bad is ever gonna ever happen again. Oh god. <laughs> Lamu is a beautiful boy. Tragedy in Lamu Park Forest Park. Tragedy strikes in the infamous Lamu Forest Park. What was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip of four friends turns into a devastating bloodbath. Tasha Neal, Ken Abel, Leon Dean, and the redacted person we were, we're camping in the Lamu Forest Park on the night of February 19th. The young adults just graduated and were looking to have a getaway out in the world to unwind and relax. That was when tragedy occurred. Tasha, Ken, and Leon were brutally murdered and decapitated in the middle of the night, leaving to be the lone survivor of the devastating incident. The Lamu Park has been infamous due to its collection of known murderers to those who enter the park. Every murder involved within the park has been through decapitation by unknown means. The forensics have concluded the bite marks present on the deceased bodies resemble that of human teeth. The mystery of the Lamu killer has been solved due to recent developments, though authorities decide to withhold the information and details about said killer. They assure the public that it will no longer cause any harm to citizens. I've refu so Blank has refused to participate in any interviews, understandably oh. due to their traumatizing experience. The public may rest easy knowing the Lamu killer has been apprehended. Okay, so we run them over. Yes. And we won. Yes. That's very nice. So do you notice something in the background? Is it a Lamu? Yeah. Just looking at you. I mean, Lamu is a nomkin, so I understand why. Alright, what were you going to show me on the screen? So you see the cave in there? Yes. You see that little discoloration right there? Like here? Yeah, there's Lamu. Oh my god. Looking at you? I don't want him to look at me. Watching you? Ideally, I would like him to fuck off, actually. <laughs> I'm going to be polite about it, but I decided, no, I'm not going to be polite about it. <laughs> I'd like him to fuck off. Oh, no. Anyway, that was Hungry Lamo. This was fun. I like this. Yes. Genuinely tense. Well done. Good little one-shot game. We're moving on to another one, baby. Oh my god, baby. We're on the third game in this video. So before we even start, can I just say a big thank you to the developer of this game for actually putting in the flashing light warning into the game? Yes. Into the opening screen? Because most of the time they don't do that. And I am highly photosensitive. So that hurts me whenever I see flashing lights. So thank you very much for that. But my wife is still going to force me to play this anyway, even knowing that there's flashing lights in it. But that makes me sound like <laughs> such a bumpkin. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm, start. I'm just going to make this a very tiny window. <laughs> this game is called The Floor is Breathing. Is the floor breathing, though? I mean, it'd be good if it wasn't. And so, you understand what we found? Ellipses. Oh, Jesus. Four mutilated corpses inside of your home. Oh, no. 
I like the feel of their breath through the floor boards. Very slow. We're, we're very slow to talk. I mean, we are a serial it's, killer, it's, I guess. It's very dramatic. Yes. You just take your time. January 17th, 2007. 7.36 p.m. Welcome home. Well, how nice. How nice to welcome us home. Press E to check tasks. To-do list. Check for monsters under bed. Use hammer to fix window. Watch TV. Go to sleep. You forgot have a lovely day. I thought... Is this outside? Oh, I see it's broken there. Well, it's very dark in this house, Bubby. Like, very dark, actually. Mm. Divorce rates are at their highest. What? Unbelievable. This is unprecedented. I actually can't see anything to the extent that I'm sure I'm missing a light source or something. Listen, you just gotta feel around in the darkness. Well, let's go upstairs to check under the bed first, because the bed's probably upstairs, right? Probably, yes. Can I take you? No. Okay, well, it's no. much better lit up here, actually. It's, it's, you, gotta, you gotta have the atmosphere. Oh, there's no monsters under the bed? That's good news. Yes. And we got the hammer to fix the window downstairs. Lovely pictures on the wall here, totally normal. I keep forgetting that E is look at the list instead of use. That right, will fix the window. Perfect. Flawless. Well, you know, whatever gets the job done, really. Oh, and here's the TV. Hey, oh. Oh. We've done it all. We can go to sleep now. Well, that was a great program. I love that show. You so know what it's wonderful. called? Um, SpongeBob SquarePants. Is it? Yeah. You clearly are not a SpongeBob fan if you didn't recognize it straight away, Bubby. I guess we killed somebody. <laughs> no, the duck just got lost. Oh, that's true. That must be what it is. At the end of the song, they do come back, right? January 18th, 2007. 8.21pm. Welcome home. So, the house probably has a body in it now. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you'll never know. Check if the window is safe. Check for monsters under my bed. Watch TV. Go to sleep. You keep forgetting the last one. What's the last one? The last one is the little rainbow. Oh, have a lovely day. Yeah. I was wondering why you were saying that, actually. It's the first time I noticed it. <laughs> I thought you were just being, like, cute. Well, I mean, I am maybe a little bit cute, but... You were very cute, actually. I was mainly referring to the rainbow. I would specify you as being cute as fuck. Would you know? I would. Hmm... I don't know what my wife has to say about that. Oh, January 23rd, 2007. Subject has various gross lesions across chest and face. Okay. Hemorrhage blatantly in conjunction. The subject has rope burns around the neck and various. The subject has suffered the loss of three fingers. Okay. Subject is found hidden under the floorboards with three other individuals. Oh, God. Oh, hello, nooses. Noosei. Noosies. Niece. Niece. Nieces. <laughs> That's the plural of noose, right, niece? Hello? Oh no, hello, sir. Behold, the Lord came with many thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all really and to like convict all the ungodly of all their ungodly deeds which they have done in an ungodly way and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Mm, I hate that sound. Yeah, but it's bedtime now, so it's fine. 
There we go. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. So far, this is pretty good. I like the idea. So I guess it's going to show like the deteriorating mental state of the killer. Mm. That this sort of um. Mm. I'll, I'll wait for this one to be done. I like the random face generation they use, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say this is very popular now. Yeah. To do the sort of uh, realism, but distorted in some way. Yeah. Um, but not in the usual distortion, if that makes sense. Yeah. This is only a day later. We've been a busy boy. <laughs> or girl, I'm not sure. Girl. Repair the door, check for monsters under bed, watch TV, go to sleep. The door is open. Check for monsters under the bed. I wonder if there's going to be a monster under the bed at some point. Alright, let's go and watch TV. I hear that Sesame Street is on at this time of night now. So have you noticed the floor is breathing? Here? I don't know. Anyway. No. Not yet, anyway. Divorce rates are still high, baby. Oh my what god. The Hello. Well, I enjoyed this. Let's go to sleep. Okay, then. Guessing something bad might happen though on the way to the bedroom. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're going to be all right at the moment. Oh. The phone's ringing, Baby Numkin. Oh, no. I didn't even know I had one of those. Oh, I like the visual effect there. Hello? Numkins? I know what you've done. Well, that's just rude. Okay, the floor actually is breathing now. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, they turn with you as well. You didn't see all the eyeballs? Oh yeah, but they're not kids. Don't they were just no I thought they were just part of the house normally. Oh look. Oh. We need to put the corpse somewhere apparently. Where are we gonna put it? I'm not quite sure why we left it in our bed in a bin bag, but there we go. Oh. No one will ever find it here, Lovey. Okay. No one. Our plan is what? Unprecedented. No killer has ever done this before. <laughs> <laughs> no killer has ever gotten caught burying the bodies in their own house. Oh, hi. Hey, yo. Well, let's just, let's just go to sleep. Tomorrow is another day. We got the song again now. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh god. Hello? Oh my god, there's a bang at the door. I thought that was the floor, but that's the ceiling. <laughs> they look very similar. In fact, I would say possibly identical. You are no longer safe here. Hide. Where should I hide? Um... Closet? Bed? Maybe I need to go downstairs first? Maybe? I mean, I don't think this game's gonna kill me, so let's just do it. I mean... You don't know that. Oh, I can't go down. Okay, so we need to hide somewhere. Oh, hi, this wasn't here a minute ago. Oh. Then Alicia prayed and said, Oh Lord, please Alicia. open his eyes, that he may see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man. And he saw, and behold. 
pretty sure that's Elijah, not Alicia. Oh, <laughs> whatever. That's what it, it said, Alicia, right? I think there, there's. Oh, you know. We what? grew a door. Just don't worry, okay? <laughs> Okay. Oh, what's this? We're taking an evening stroll. I mean, I personally don't think we should be on the road. This is pretty dangerous. We should dangerous. go to this house. Uh, maybe. I mean, it's there. Oh, I hear something. Like a duck hybrid person. Well, I can't go to the house, so I guess we're going along the road still. What was that? There is a weird little... There's something up ahead. I see something. What is it? Yeah. What the fuck is Horrific that? Horrific treehouse with lots of slides and eyeballs and something else. Oh. That's cool, the design of that. Yeah. That slide SCP that eats people should look like that. Okay. So, my dearest Samantha, how is your husband? Though I suppose you wouldn't know, but I know. I saw what you've done, and I saw how you murdered your son too. You make my blood curl. Oh, posting damn. your vile actions online, creating a circus out of the death of your own flesh and blood. Deplorable filth. I have it all. Recorded, saved, and so do the police. You'll not escape your crime nor your judgement. Enjoy eternal suffering, you sick, twisted fuck. Oh. I really like this, by the way. Oh dear. Finish what we started. Oh no. Oh, I guess you. Oh no, you look sad before we beat his brains up. Or beat a TV up. That's all we did. Yeah. Was that the third victim or the fourth? I wasn't sure. I think this was the third one. The I third think... one was a neighbor who said they saw us. Yeah. And our son and husband, husband were the first two. Yeah. January 20th, 2007. Recording start. Recording site. I can't control this, so it's just happening, I guess. Warrant. Oh, we're the poli police body cam. Oh. Warrant to enter and search premises. Okay, uh. Oh, this is, um, in the UK. Hey, Mark. I don't know how I feel about this one. She should just be a witness, but something about her in this case makes me uncomfortable. Although she's lost her son and her husband, so go easy on her. I still insist you don't go alone, but I'm sure you're still going to me anyway. Be careful. Just ask the questions to check the house and get back. So we're probably the, playing the fourth victim here. Oh, there's another perspective thingy. Yeah, who thinks that she's innocent and we're just going to interrogate her about the case. I don't know why our neighbour decided to threaten us first before telling the police. Yeah. Seems like a major flaw in their plan. Yeah, that wasn't smart. What a lovely home. Nowhere in the UK really looks like this, I wouldn't say. Well, it doesn't matter, you're playing a game. No, it's real, it's a documentary. Hello? Yo. Okay, well, that jumped from one end to the other quickly. Two rings, kick the door in. That's the police way. Yeah. The floor is raised here. The floor okay, is raised I'm everywhere. Sorry. Oh, the floor is breathing, look. You go into a place and you see a floating TV staring at you, probably with your own face. Why are you not immediately leaving? Oh, hello. Well, I guess that's why you're not leaving. <laughs> Close your eyes. She looked really healthy. I don't like that. I don't like it, buddy. Okay. What? I have a feeling that this might be the flashy bit. So, I'm going to look away now. Yeah, I can't move, so... Oh, she's she's got me tied to a chair and she's torturing me. I know. Oh! I know. Is it actually flashing, though? No. Just like a red stabbing effect. Oh, okay. But there, she's gonna take a picture at the end, I think. That was horrible. <laughs> this game's great! 
This game is really good. January 20th, 2007, 9.57pm. You can't run forever. Yes, you can. Maybe. I mean, we know that she gets caught. See? <laughs> I mean, they're literally trying to get in her house right now. I guess it would be kind of hard to hide the fact that a police detective that went over to check on you disappeared. You want to check your notes? Can't. Oh, I can. They can't take us alive. Us? Oh. There's a note Go to sleep to... with a gun. Oh, no. But we survive, I think. Because we're being interrogated at the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. The first one looks like Michael Myers. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I don't know. I guess that's it. I don't know what's happening. He's just, he's just staying on the screen. Oh, is it the team that made it, maybe? Or is that what they actually are meant to look like? Is this based on a real case? I don't know. Four murders. And you couldn't even kill yourself. Explains a fucked up face though. You're crowded by physical and digital evidence. The blood on my hands will stain your Conscience. Conscious, sorry. Into the... The blood on my hands will stain the conscious into the floor, I think she was saying. This was really good. I think she was saying into the fire. Maybe. I don't know. Excellent. Either way, this was a very good game. For a, tw for a free 20 minute game, this is better than a lot of paid games on Steam. It was very good. You warned us about the flashing. Which wasn't too bad. Which wasn't too bad. Very, very, very nice. Very good. Alright, I think we're going to move on to another one. Alright guys, here is the fourth game in the video. This is Everlast. Ooh, no painting. Live your best afterlife. Okay, then. Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? If you can see me, it means that your consciousness has been at least 25% uploaded. Okay. What should we go with, Betty? Uh, where's the other 75% of me? It's safely stored on a massive, distributed computing cluster owned by Everlast. Don't worry. The rest of you is uploading as we speak. Uh, huh. I'm dead? If you're talking about your physical body, then yes. Your cognitive processes are no longer running on wetware. But we've modeled all your neural connections as bits of code that's currently running on silicon and metal. Okay, well that's a bit weird. And who are you? I'm here to help you cross over. In ancient cultures, I might have been called a psychopomp. That's a little grandiose for my tastes. I like to think of myself as a combination of greeter, check-in clerk, and onboarding technician. Okay. Uh, how did I die? How did I die? You were doing whippets inside a bouncy castle. <laughs> what? And fell. The fall broke your neck, killing you instantly. What a way to go! Last. You'll never sustain that kind of injury again, unless you're into that sort of thing, in which case you can simulate death and be reborn as many times as you wish. Okay. It's pretty barren here, I will say. This is just the lobby. Once we sign you up for one of our digital afterlife membership plans, 
you'll have access to hundreds of worlds crafted for your enjoyment. Every aspect of your biology will be faithfully reproduced and infinitely customizable. You'll be able to taste every note in a glass of perfectly aged wine, while the hangover will be optional. Oh no. So I have a feeling we're gonna be broke. Yep. And this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> this is very dystopian. We offer three afterlife membership tiers. Basic, premium, and elite. Your tier eligibility is based on your afterlife participation readiness score. My what score? It's a trustworthiness score that determines what kinds of spaces you'll be able to enter and what kinds of privileges we can grant hey, so, you. So it's not financial, it's like a social credit score. score. In one of two ways. Based on your past behavior in digital spaces or based on your internet search. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god! How do you have all this data? One of the most wonderful things about your digital afterlife here at Everlast is that you'll always be surrounded with media that's tailored to your interests. Our goal is to make you feel seen. In building out this media-rich environment for you, we worked closely with several partners whose services you relied on heavily back when you were mortal. These partners can't wait to continue... Oh my god, this is so creepy. Oh my god, I can totally see fucking Amazon and Google and all of them doing that. Use my online behavior. Okay. Our records indicate that during the course of your lifetime, you made 3,201 internet shitposts, <laughs> ignored 522 software updates, used your ex's Netflix password for nine years, <laughs> signed up for the same free trial using multiple email addresses on 18 occasions, and used an ad blocker on 82% of the site. <laughs> Regrettably, these behaviors resulted in a score too low for acceptance into our premium and elite clients. It is therefore my pleasure to offer you our basic tier. Oh my um, god. How basic is the basic tier? The basic tier is subsidized by our corporate... Oh no! <laughs> Thanks to their generous contribution, we're able to offer you perpetual afterlife access free of charge. In exchange, we require that you submit to some minor adjustments to your psychographic profile, messaging settings, and emotional range. Oh no, this is horrific! My psychographic profile? Yes. Already, at merely 25% uploaded, we're seeing some very strong patterns come through in your data that are taking up significant resource. In particular, your love for your mother, your first teacher. Oh, your they're gonna make us a robot. If we run you cost effectively on our basic tier, we're going to have to perform a search and replace function to swap your love for one of those people with love for one of our esteemed partners, Carl's Jr. Oh so my override? God. Let's do my teacher. Teacher? All right, we're going to get rid of the teacher memory, I guess. I know that must have been a difficult choice. On the plus side, Carl's Jr. is thrilled to have you <laughs> as part of their family. To welcome you, they've transferred one big Carl cheeseburger over to your inventory. Before we exit the psychographic calibration, we need to make another adjustment. It seems that your love for the remaining two people is oh, no. just a little bit too much storage space on the basic tier. I'm going to have to ask you to choose one more person whom we'll replace with another one of our- I feel like they're just gonna do it for all of the people. Martin. Please make your selection. This is so fucked. Who should we forget, um, my mother or my best friend? Or should we say stop, this is inhumane? Oh man, I don't know. I'm gonna say stop, okay, and see what she says. Okay. Oh god, this is gonna be so bad. If you refuse to participate in the psychographic calibration, I am authorized to oh, no! three of these people for three of our brands. Trust me, you don't want that. So please make your choice. Best friend. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Your psychographic preferences have been updated. You might experience a temporary feeling of having misplaced an important keepsake. 
Don't try to figure out what you've lost. That will only make the pain worse. Oh my Instead, god. Think of all the wonderful ways that you can support the brands that matter to you. The more shareholder value your favorite brands create, the more they can invest in loving you back. Oh my god. Oh no, there's more. There's lots more. My messaging settings. We offer our customers a channel to your loved ones who have not yet passed. Our basic customers are limited to 25 messages per month, 140 characters per message, and an overall vocabulary of 500 words to choose from. Messages must adhere to our code of conduct, which forbids sexual content, profanity, and negative assessments of Everlast. You may unlock new words you can use by endorsing our- Oh my god, this is so bad! For every endorsement, 15 new words will be added to your vocabulary. Oh, this is While awful! and elite members live on servers belonging to Everlast, our basic members will be running on the servers of corporate sponsors. In your case, that sponsor is Uber. Complex emotions are the most computationally expensive part of your model for them to run. For this reason, at times when Uber requires more computing resources, for example, during bad weather or rush hour, you may experience a temporary Oh my god! Faculties. During these periods, you may be assigned to assist Uber in route planning, vehicle operation. We're like a slave! Oh my god. The basic plan is hell. Is there any way out of it? You bet. We're here to empower all our customers in living their best afterlife by giving them the opportunity to earn credits that can be traded in. Oh no. What's the point of that? If, <laughs> if, if. if <laughs> well, how do I earn credits? Fuck it. There were quite a few jobs to choose from. Drone guidance, bot farming, content censorship. Oh, I'm sure you'd love that one. Farming were some of the exciting and fulfilling roles we had to offer. It's been harder recently. We AI keep losing our jobs <laughs> to living humans. But there just happens to be one opening in my department. Would you be interested in being a greeter, like me? How long will it take? I guess. Let's see. You need 200,000 credits to be able to upgrade Christ. to the premium plan. And earning that should take about 83 years. But don't worry. Time works differently here. You'll see what I mean. What does it entail? Being a bitch. It's sacred work. You get to usher people through a liminal space. You help them to make the right choices and to let go of what no longer serves them. And the best part is, you get to earn commission on their customer after lifetime value in perpetuity. And it's easy. All you have to do is read from a script. Oh, so that's why her eyes are... She, she's AI generated, this person is. They're not a real person. Okay, but her eyes are still going back and forth as if she's reading, so oh, my yeah, statement yeah, yeah. is still valid. Thank oh, you very much. So I didn't hear, I didn't hear what you said, sorry. I apologize. <laughs> It's been a pleasure serving you. I look forward to seeing you around at the office. Your first customer will be joining you shortly. Goodbye. What is this place? Oh, I'm talking to this person now. Oh, God. You've been uploaded to Everlast. Yeah. Oh, Why we're in the greeter. remember what happened? Um... Some types of cognitive processes, such as goal setting, attention, and impulse control, might be missing certain modules. But don't worry, you won't need those where you're going. Oh my god. Is that the end? So, I thought this was pretty good, by the way. Um, I think the true horror in this is how realistic it possibly is uh, at yeah. being something in the near future, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Uh, this was all made by one person as well, and the, the people that own it are all computer generated. So I thought this was pretty impressive for oh, a small yeah. project like this. I mean, I know it's quite short, and I don't think there's really that much choice. It's more like a visual novel, right? Mm -hmm. But it's it's still really, really creepy, because 100% Amazon and Google and Apple would want to do this shit if they could. Oh, yeah, definitely. I... I, I <laughs> 
it's it's horrific because it is 100% a possible outcome in the probably fairly near future. And that is so depressing and so awful. But if they figure out how to do it, this is definitely yeah. Uh, the, the, it's it's free workers basically. <laughs> free dead people workers. Well, it's worse than that. They rewrite who you are as a person. Yeah. You got to <laughs> turn off our ad block otherwise we're going to be fucked. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> this was an interesting game. Let's move on. Oh my god, Babin Nomki, and this is the final game in this video. Oh my god, so no. And it's called A Beast Outside. How rude. How rude. Oh my goodness, that's the moon. It's the moon. And we have hair arms. Oh, the gra it's growing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. A werewolf, Baba Numkin, I think. Should we go and numb this Numkin? Yes. Oh my god. Look at my little peaks, they're going back and forth. Oh my god. Don't make that noise, he'll know we're coming! Okay, then. What the fuck just happened here? We're fine. Was it a dream? Obviously, Baba Numkin, right? Yeah. A beast outside. I don't see a beast outside, this is false advertising. The beast is inside us. Oh my god. That game was... alright. The beast inside us? Yeah. There's a game called that? Yeah. Inside me, I think. Locked? Why? Why is the door in my own house locked? I live alone, exactly. That would be the real scare. Like you said, I really like the hand-drawn hands. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it said the developer said that they'd done this, like, you know, like, they drew on the hands themselves and everything, so that's cool. Oh my goodness. Spooky dookie. There's a beast outside. Either that or just up up here. Maybe we have a really big puppy here and we just forgot. Oh, hello. I feel like you wouldn't forget that. Oh, the man was in the chair, but he's gone now. Okay. There's someone in the kitchen. Oh my god. I want to watch TV, though. No. Interesting doorway. Yeah. Interesting kitchen, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit of bare basic kitchen. Yeah, and that chair looks a bit fucked. Yeah. But there is a key here. Oh. The bathroom key! Okay, let's go back and check the bathroom numkin, alright? I wonder how to... What's happening? I've got to turn it off. Oh, it's very loud. Stop it. Oh god. The bedroom door! I would check just the bedroom. Leave. Why would you check it? You'd just go, wouldn't you? I'd just leave the house. If it sounds like someone's in the house, I'm leaving outside of the house. Should I check the bathroom or bedroom first, Duncan? Uh, whatever you get to first. Well, the bathroom's this one. Why was it locked? What the fuck? Where is my fuck shower? <laughs> I don't have a shower, fuck you! I'm what? going crazy! What is happening with this dialogue? Wait. Where is my fuck shower? <laughs> Wait a minute, sorry. Okay. I don't understand that dialogue at all. Did he have a shower and it's gone? Or did he imagine he had a shower and it's gone? I don't know. And is a fuck shower different to a normal shower? Does it have like a stool built in? <laughs> Locked? What? There's someone joking me. Find something to break down the door. I think we can tell that the uh, English is not the primary language that this developer speaks. <laughs> no. They live in a country with fuck showers for a start and I'm pretty sure they don't exist here. <laughs> <laughs> I like this by the way so far. Cool. I, I really like the aesthetic. Hang on, what was I eating? Just the TV? I don't know. No, no, you can do it on this. You just gotta get it just right. There we go. Nothing in there. Yeah. I can't duck, so I can't reach the lower ones. Okay. We gotta find something to break the door down. If I was a door, what would I use to break it down? Um, oh, oh god. Oh. Fine. 
We just blacked out for a second. What's happening? I'm literally going crazy. <laughs> I need a rest. So it's you? Go to the bedroom, but I can't because it's locked. Maybe it won't be knocked out. Yeah, I guess we'll go back. I think something bad might happen on the way back anyway. Did you hear that? Yes, oh, I did. there's eyes. Hello? It's a peeker. You see the little peek? It looks like there's something outside. Oh, I hate that sound. I feel like there's something trying to get out. Maybe we're not the werewolf. Maybe it's our friend Keith. Well, Keith should... Oh, yeah, the bedroom's open now. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. Oh, it's a horrible sound. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh, it's flashing, sorry. Oh, oh! Uh. Keith! How could you? Damn it, Keith. What the fuck is happening? I thought this was good. This was pretty good. Like, a short little narrative story, bit spooky, bit... Yeah. Just well done, I liked it. Yeah. I thought it was alright. My only advice would be, uh, get someone to proofread your, uh, script. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I thought this was a fun little, little game, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah. So, uh, I think that we had generally, I think all the games in this video were pretty good. Yeah. Uh, for once, this never usually happens, I'm quite surprised, but I guess that's what happens when we don't play games for Mature for a while. Yeah. So anyway guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy, consider checking out our Patreon. There's a link in the description. You can also watch us live on Twitch via the link in the description too. Um, what else can they do, Bevy? Fantastic. <laughs> thank you for watching everyone. Remember to like and share and comment on the video. And we'll see you really soon for more non stuff. Goodbye. And subscribe to the channel if you yes. want to watch more of our stuff. How dare you. How dare you.